Looking back there, Martin, two two draws in the last week. Uh, frustrating is the word people are using. Are you, are you frustrated by that? Yeah, I am, to be honest with you. I feel that uh, we've had a two-point return from the last two games, and I think it, you know, with a fair wind and, and, and the performance we've put in, we should have had a six-point return. You know, and that makes an awful big difference in the, on an early season volatile table. Uh, but yeah, it's been disappointing, uh, but not disappointing in terms of performance. Disappointing with what's going on and, and, and in terms of the way we've played, but disappointing in that we haven't got our rewards for our hard work, and, and that's what you've got to keep uh, reaffirming to the players. I suppose there's two ways to look at it now. We are three games un- undefeated. If we go on a, a little run now, win a couple of games, then all of a sudden the picture changes and, and you know, we're on a five-game unbeaten run with, with a couple of wins, it'd be, we'd, we'd turn it around. Yeah, I mean, that's where the uh, August weekend comes into play, doesn't it? You know, you've got a, a, a return of, you can have null points, obviously, you can have one point, you can have three points, or you can have four points, or you can have six points. And, you know, what, any, any one of them... Uh, equations will make a difference to, to the table. If we can pick up six, they say six points, probably be top half of the table, unbeaten for five, everything, everyone's smiling, rosy in the garden. If you get a, a couple of defeats, you know, it's, it's doom and gloom. We've gone through August, we've only picked up three draws and, and we've had three defeats. So this weekend can make a big difference to what would be seen as a, a start. I think you could say that six games is a start to your season because you could put it in six game blocks and, and you know, you've got nine of them. To, to, to no, yeah, well, eight of them to, to, to do in terms of uh, where you'd be throughout a season. But uh, it's an important weekend, and I think it's you know to keep everyone bubbling along. We do need a, a win, a four-point return at least, and, and hopefully a six-point return. And are you going to be approaching those two games over the weekend the same as the, the rest of the season? Yeah, I just feel that you, you, you maybe set up your team a little bit different, uh, an away game to an home game. Uh, your game plan may be a little bit different, you know, take this thing out of the, the opposition before you move forward away from home. It's, it's just how yeah, you would generally do it. But uh, as I say we've got all the, we do all the work in terms of game planning, match reports, and uh, when it goes out on a Saturday, it, it, can, it can change very quickly because they've come up with a, a different team with a different formation because they're obviously trying to do the same thing. They're trying to surprise and they're trying to c- uh, c- cause you problems. So you've got to counter out their problems and then put your strengths into play, and we'll be doing that against Mansfield and we'll be doing that against Eastbourne. In terms of the team selection, um, any injuries or, or illness to worry about? Yeah, we're sitting here on a, on a Thursday, it's, uh, it's there's a couple of illnesses and Danny Naysby and, and, and Daryl Clear and then we've got a few knocks and bangs really, we've got uh, Macaulay, Hudson and Jennings with uh, injuries that they run on yesterday and we'll see what the, what the outcome from the back of that and then we've got Adam Miller who's just got a knock who probably won't. Uh, joining training today, but we'll train tomorrow and play Saturday. So there's nothing major there, but there is out of them six, there will be players that are not available to us on Saturday and, Mo- and Monday. But I expect most of the players to be available. Okay, thanks, Martin. Okay.